Hello and welcome to Bella V TV. This is Lost Suitcases, Souls Driven by Wanderlust, and I'm your host, Valerie Pennington. And joining me in my Zoom room today, all the way from Paris, France, we have a fabulous, fabulous guest today. I think that it's <laughs> going to be so much fun. Koan Leila, she is, okay, an actress, a dancer, a singer, and this is my personal favorite, a Jedi master. <laughs> so we're going to get to talk about all of these things today. Go on. Thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thank you for inviting me, really. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. So on Lost Suitcases, we talk to people who travel. And since most of our viewers are in the U.S., uh, this season we're talking to people who live abroad and who can share sort of stories of what their lives are like. And I think your life as a performer, especially during this particular time during COVID, um, I just thought that you would have some amazing stories to share that would kind of give us all a little bit of a virtual travel experience. And of course, on this <laughs> show, we try to, you know, make connections and try to realize that, of course, even though there's a lot of craziness going on, um, there's a lot of beauty also in the in the world. And so I think, Koan, maybe the first thing we could start off with is kind of what you, I mean, I don't know where you want to start. Um, let's should we talk about <laughs> acting or singing or dancing or, um, I don't know, or we could talk about that, that Jedi master. It's, it's really up, it's really up to you. I mean, how do you define yourself primarily or, or do you? Oh, uh, that's a good question. How am I defining myself? I think at first of all, I'm defining myself as a woman first, <laughs> first of all, that changed pretty much all of things in my life, uh, all of my choices too. So um, I choose to be, um, an actress. Yes. How did I did that? I actually got the answer. Um, I was in the United States and I came back in France and I decided to do something with my life and just to just go with it. And I finally, I'm here. I'm an actress. I'm loving it. And I've been in Disneyland Paris. So I've been in Disneyland Paris since I'm a little girl. That was my dream. <laughs> was and it really? Pretty small. Yes, pretty small. Uh -huh. And they finally, finally, they hired me. I don't know how. <laughs> I, I and, have um, an idea. You have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I became a Jedi master over there. Uh, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Uh, my, I have to train a little Padawans uh, for them to become Jedis. Yes, uh -huh. and to fight against the dark side. And of course, Dark Vader. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, can you can you share this? I believe you have some a photo, some photos of this. I think that would be uh, amazing. <laughs> You want some? Okay, I'm gonna send it to you. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> because so otherwise, I have to say this: this is something that everyone yes. wants to put on their resume, right? A, a Jedi Master. What? What can you? I mean, who can top that? Well, I have to admit <laughs> that is my dream come true. The, that was my dream come true. I, I hope for it. I was a big fan of Star Wars. So when they say, you're going to become a Jedi master, I said, really, are you, are you talking to me? For real, <laughs> that's going to be me. And uh, that was it. Uh, I was with the children, the Padawans, and that was amazing. Okay, we had this so much fun. It's great. This <laughs> is great. And Do you, you know, see it? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. It looks fantastic. Better? Yes. Oh, so wonderful. my Jedi name is Kiong. Okay. This is my lightsaber. Yes, uh -huh. very strong. <laughs> uh, this is the stage. Oh, wow. It's an amazing stage. Yes. Uh, we were in the galaxy with R2-D2. You can see him over here. <laughs> and my little Padawans, who have done well, actually. <laughs> you also got um, here. Oh. Oh, you see him, right? Oh, this yes. This is Vader. Yes, yes. <laughs> look at them look at them wow this is so into it oh, this is so ready look at this one it's so cute. ready <laughs> that was so much fun oh that was so gosh. much fun wow how long how long were you a um, 
practicing Jedi master? Uh, I had like two months of rehearsals and then uh -huh. I was a Jedi master for almost a year, actually. Wow. Um, okay. Two seasons. Uh -huh. uh, and then, uh, yes, for two seasons. And then that was, that was it. it. It closed, finally. Mm. The, we had to go back on our galaxy. <laughs> You got to come home eventually. Um, exactly. So <laughs> I can imagine, I mean, for a lot of people, you know, Disneyland is just this. I mean, it's, it's such a great fantasy. And I think Star Wars, you know, is kind of like doubled up. Did that uh, solidify for you that you, you need to be on stage? Did you, yeah. sounds like you knew before that, but was it that living the dream kind of moment that many oh, people yes. I think imagine it would be? Oh, yes, it was totally for me. I had this amazing crew. They really took care of me. Uh, I improved myself at every point, actually. <laughs> really, um, I was more professional thanks to them. Um, I had a blast, really. That was mm. very good. And um, I learned a few stuff about people, about customers, about how we need to take some time on ourselves how to take care of children yes. and how to make them make the dream come true for them, actually, because mm. that is the main point. You have, yes. to, you have to create a dream. You have to create a dream. And I love it. That I always wanted, I wanted to do with my life. So you get these little children and that you got it, you got it finally. And it's pretty clear. Mm. <laughs> create a dream. Wow. That, that is beautiful. And I, I do love that so much about, about the arts it's the challenge and it's the 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 expression of the freedom right that you can be yes. anything i think you is so incredible and just kind of getting over that barrier though for many people you know getting on stage so yes. i'm a, a amateur dancer and you know the first time you get on stage you know the, the fear of being judged the fear of exactly. failure the fear of falling i mean you know just all of those things right and uh but man the payoff is so great yes and yes i i didn't um i have to tell you actually what made me take the decision of being an actress um a dog attacked me in the face and i had the face split on into actually are you serious? I was coming, yes, I was coming back from, oh. from San Diego and I wanted to do so much things and I was just my face split in two. So that was a time when I said, okay, you need to just stand up on your feet or you're going to fall down. You're too young to fall down. I was 19 years old and I said, you're too young to fall down. So you need to make choices. And I always wanted to sing, to dance, but I, I couldn't find the courage. I wasn't brave enough. Uh -huh. That gave me the, the courage to do it. So I had the best uh, doctors in the world. They have me. It's perfect right now. <laughs> you look, uh, said, you, you're, you are gorgeous. I, oh, I cannot, I, can, I, I cannot believe this story. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty, pretty hard for me by that time. But I said, that's enough. I'm going to be who I want to be. Uh, I'm going to say what I want to say, and I just can do it uh, on a stage. That's, that's why when I ha finally got this, fa this first contract with Disneyland Paris, I was like, thank God. <laughs> that oh. was a good choice. And yes. when you say, like, um, may the force be with you, that was actually the same <laughs> sentence I was saying to myself a few years before. So wow. I think I had chance. I had chance. Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. I'm, yes, I'm blessed. <laughs> you know, Kwan, I, I have to say, so just for the, so the viewers know, um, obviously we met on Zoom ahead of time yes. before this interview, but, we, but she did not share uh, this incredible yes. story. And so I will actually share with you just briefly, I knew that like maybe, I don't know, we're kindred spirits or something because your story resonates with me so much because I never got on a stage until after I went through a medical crisis of my own, which really? also challenged me as, especially as a woman. Um, so I'm a long-term, so it's all coming out on, on lost suitcases <laughs> today, but uh, I'm a long-term two-time breast cancer survivor. 
And I was diagnosed on my 30th birthday. So I was really young and I, I did not have like tools in my toolbox to manage all of this, you know, emotion. Of course, my whole life fell apart and it was dance. It was through art. It was through, so I got into ballroom dancing and especially like international Latin and it was getting out on stage over and over and over again and basically showing to the judges the world, but really myself, Sam, right? yes. that I was, that I am, you know, strong and healthy strong. and alive and female and all of those things. And so your story is very magical to me because it's exactly my story as well. And I have done a lot of work with, you know, other survivors and yes, you I are. believe that people who have survived really any kind of physical trauma, disease, uh, you know, abuse, accidents, uh, I believe that healing requires a physical component. You know, you need to oh, talk yes. about it. I oh, believe, yes. you know, therapy and support groups are wonderful. But for me, I didn't trust my body. I did, it had turned against me. And so mm. I didn't know what to do. Yes. And for you to go through, especially the face right? Which is just, you can't hide that, right? I mean, I can't no. imagine the journey that you must have taken to get on to the stage, the, your life stage as you are right now. Go on. I, ha I had no idea, but now <laughs> everything, like my, my, the vibe that I got from you, it <laughs> makes total sense. So you were 19 when right. this happened. How long- yes until yes. you actually went like on stage or how long was the healing? Uh, the if, you healing don't, if you don't mind my asking. Maybe, no, 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 that's fine. The healing may be two years to be oh. quite good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was on stage one year after. I was, I was in school. Oh. I was on a drama school one year after. Because oh. before that, actually, I took a, a community degree. So, uh, no, sorry, uh, a communication degree. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> communication degree. Because I just didn't want, I just didn't know what to do at that time. Mm -hmm. Finally, I said no. <laughs> wow. That's it. Well, <laughs> it's just communicating in a very different way, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you kind of, um, you kind of give me a lot of emotions right now. Yes, you, you, you did too. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, so I kind of lost my English for a second. Sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. I think <laughs> this is precisely the kind of content that is so great on Bella V TV because it, it, these shows are not sound bites. You know, we actually have time to talk to people and dig yeah. deep and really talk about things that matter. And, you know, I just thought you were going to talk about, you know, fun things on the stage yeah. in Paris and, and all that. And we will talk about that. But it's how people get to where they are, you know, how they see their journey and where they're going. That's, you know, that's the story. I mean, your story, yeah. I mean, is, is so much more important because of what got you to where you are now. And, you know, clearly you're, you're still, I mean, you're so young and you're still in the beginning of this great career yeah. and, um, exactly. and it's, it's a remarkable story um, so far and it's, it's very oh, inspiring. And that, that's the other thing, of course, that we want to do on these shows <laughs> is just inspire people because someone may be watching you and feeling that, oh, you know, some, it's always what's inside us that holds us back. Exactly. Right. It, it's, it's exactly. the voice in the head that says, yeah, no, I can't. Yes. And we are our worst enemies. That's yes. my first sentence. We are yes. our worst enemies. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I think, you know, for performers, I think it's just a heightened awareness mm. of things that non-performers also feel, right? But when yeah. you're getting ready to go out stage, you put it all out there and it's raw and it's vulnerable. Yeah. And that's what makes it yeah. so beautiful. So, okay. So after, after <laughs> Disneyland Paris, what, what happened next? Well, um, I was in Disneyland Paris, and uh, at the same time, I was in a dancer group uh, who calls um, Dolce Dance Team. So we were doing pretty much um, s uh, sports events 
Okay. Sports events? Yes, sports yes, events. Yes. We were doing soccer, handball, uh, basketball uh, for the first league. So I was pretty proud of it. Uh, I can show you a few pictures oh, if you yes, want. Please. Oh, yes. <laughs> pictures are always good. <laughs> oh, so we were doing a lot of shows, like I told you. That also was the first time for me because um. Wait, oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Technology, no worries at all. Yes, I'm not the kind of girl who is good for technology, but that's, that's fine. That's, that's quite all right. <laughs> You've got your lightsaber, pictures. man. Everybody needs to just stand back. You're right. <laughs> I got two pictures. This is my crew. Oh, this is my beautiful. best crew. So oh, we're dancing great. a lot together for a nice. few shows. And uh -huh. we're still doing it when we got time. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, like always, because um, this is who I am, I kind of hurt my knee too. Oh. So three times. So I cannot dance mm. like uh, I used to. I, I used to. And that was my first love dance. I always, I always dance since I'm a little girl. So that was pretty hard for me. But now I know that I'm, a, I'm an actress. So that's fine. I still can dance, not uh, jump all around, but still can yes. dance and still yes. singing. Okay. And uh, as a singer, um, now I'm with the hundred voices of gospel. Uh, oh, wow. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Uh, I'm here with them since two years, something like this. Yes, two years. Uh, we are 100, exactly. Yes, we are 100 voices. Wow. <laughs> we got lead singers who's coming from all around the world, America, France, Italy. Everything wow. is mixed. It's uh -huh. a beautiful place. We all share um, our cultures and it's beautiful. And we're doing it with gospel. So it, this is just uh -huh. pure and just wonderful. I'm having a blast on stage. This is actually, this is the first time because I wasn't really sure with my voice before. That's really a work that I'm, I'm doing every single day. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I know voice is like, when you sing, it's like you're naked. <laughs> you yes. can hide yourself you yes. can hide yourself uh and i didn't know to do that i'm a strong woman and i don't want people to see my uh, <laughs> you, how do you say it my, You're, like um, vulnerability your vulnerability exactly, mm. exactly. i didn't want yes. to but with with gospel you just can't hide yourself you just oh. go off with everyone and we're doing a, a european tour for now we're going to start in december Okay. Uh, so we're going in France, all around France, uh, England, uh, Italy, Germany, and a lot of countries. So it's pretty good. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Oh, so how are you rehearsing like via, via Zoom? Are you, are you part, like, or are you just, we <laughs> how, how does it work right now? We were, um, the show is almost ready uh, for okay. next year, but the previous show is already done. So all the material is coming from uh, the drive of Google and we just have to rehearse. And uh, we got that one rehearsal. We all got the mask. We all got the space. It's really hard. Wait, you're not trying. You, wait, are you singing with a mask on? No. Well, when we only rehearsal, we don't have the choice. This is, uh, if we oh, want to stay rehearsal. Healthy. Oh, in yes. rehearsal. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah, because singing is actually one of the things that is most, I mean, dangerous, right? How, how far apart dangerous. are you? You're a hundred people. Oh, my goodness. We're a hundred. Wow. We're a hundred. So it's quite hard. It's quite yeah. hard. So uh, we're trying. We're still trying. Yeah. And yeah. we're gonna make it through. We always find yes. new things. We always find new, new ways. So I'm not worried. Don't be. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be ready to sing for you for everyone, oh. like always. We will oh. be. Yes. Oh yes. I so believe last it. time we sang like, yes, we sang for um, for the voice. We sang with Mika, the singer. We sang with a lot of singers, and we're just having a blast. We all do. We be, we all be careful, of course, but mm -hmm. we still sing. That's a good thing for now. <laughs> yes, yes. 
there was just a big ballroom competition. Well, it, normally it's very big, but this year it was much smaller. And it was really, I believe it was the first international one. And they had, you know, socially distanced, you know, audience yeah. and the dancers were dancing in masks. And oh, no. of course, well, with their partner, you know, of course they've been re rehearsing with their partners, but in terms of protecting the other dancers on the floor and the spectators. And so you have, if you can, I, it's too bad, I should have gotten a picture to share, but um, these amazing professional ballroom dancers just all decked out and they had matching like the, the women, like mm. in the uh, standard and smooth categories where you have the big flowing, you yeah. know, ball gowns, and they had matching, they had the matching fabric for the matching masks. Ma okay. But I mean, like singing, you know, dance is so aerobic. And I mean, I can't imagine dancing with any kind of breathing restriction. That's just, that's just, but you know, but what got to me was just the drive, you know, and they said, we're going to do this. We believe that this is the safest yeah. way we can do this right now. Yeah. And like many people, you know, I'm not dancing right now. And it's, yes, it's just so hard. You know, when it's, when it's in your soul and you have to do it, it's, I, you find a way. Yes. Find so that we'll find a way, but I have to admit for now, it's really, really hard. Um, yeah. Working in Paris for now, it's pretty much nothing. <laughs> you yeah. get nothing's going on or you get rehearsal, 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 or a lot of time not paid and you're waiting, you get ready for your show. And two days before you say, oh, it's canceled. COVID. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. You have the feeling that you work for nothing yes. and that it's really, it's really hard for now. So you, we always trying to find new ways, but we want to share with people and we can't, yes. <laughs> we, we want to live. We want to eat. I have to admit, <laughs> this is not just, um, I'm not just doing this just for fun. I'm doing this for living too. Yes. So yes. it's, for the mind, it's quite difficult because in, in the night, you, you go in bed and you're like, how am I going to do tomorrow to eat? <laughs> how am I going to find some work to do? Yes. But we're going to find a way. Is there anything, are you part of any group or any plan to do anything online? Many people are doing like their teaching lessons or their, I mean, any interest, is there any possibility for you there? For now, um, I'm not, but okay. we were thinking about it actually uh, two days ago because mm -hmm. um, how play I've been canceled for two, for two weeks now. And we were saying like, we need to do something. We cannot stay like this. So we got um, the video and we're going to sell it for now. The video of the, one of our show, uh, okay. because as the comedian, I told you, I got this show about um, foster kids uh were coming out of the system at 18 and they got just they just been left with nothing and i love this show and it's a very important show so we don't want to to just leave people without nothing so we're gonna try to sell the video excellent that's one thing and our um, show also for the children um we're gonna do the same we're supposed to play in nurseries for now it's going to be okay, but we don't know until when. <laughs> yes, so I think yes. we're going to make, think about a version of the show. It's going to be interactive and it's going to be maybe via Zoom or something like mm -hmm. this. We can, so we're still thinking about it, but it takes time to make everything yes. in place. Yes. Now, are these but shows that you're talking about, these are the ones that you said you, you had written or you, you had actually, yes. uh, are these the I ones would, we're talking about? Yes, I, I have uh, written this, um, the one for the children, Solo. Uh -huh. It's called oh, uh, Les Aventures de Solo. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's the story of a little bunny who wants to find his family. And he goes um, into the desert. He found uh, a lion, but the lion told him, like, we don't look alike. I'm not your family. Mm -hmm. And it's still going on like this. And finally, he's going to find a little fairy. And this fairy is going to accept him and tell him, like, family is not blood. It's not blood. It's, um, it's everything else. It's love. It's just about mm -hmm. love. 
And yes, we wrote that with uh, my uh, kind of my the sister of my boyfriend. And uh, now we're going to play, so I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> oh, that sounds so lovely. Um, and just so all the viewers know, we're going to have Koan's links, uh, her social media links. And if it's possible, we can get you know links to like the videos, whatever it is that you are producing, so people can click down below wherever you're watching this and uh, and get that information because we would love to support you and keep you going through this oh, you know, you. crazy, crazy time. Because <laughs> I personally, I think the, the bunny lion fairy story resonates um, in at so many levels. And I think that actually will lead me yeah. into a question that I have for you, which is, yes, um, I apologize. There's of course a huge helicopter. I don't know if you're hearing it. Um, <laughs> shielding my, my fabulous microphone here. Um, Hey, you know, it's a live show. It. What, are you, what are you gonna do? Did you hear it? That's fine. Um, something that I would like to hear about is, because you're kind of touching on it now, is yeah. what life is like in Paris right now, because we're hearing, obviously, there's so much fear and strife and social unrest all over the world, but France does seem to be a real hub. And so I'm curious, What's it like there now? What are people doing? How, how is it, you know, we see sort of the news, which is very, you know, overly yeah. dramatic sometimes, but what, what is yeah. life like every day for, for you and for, you know, just every yeah, typical, yes. you know, Paris every dweller? Parisian people. Well, uh, I would love to do, to tell you that everything is fine, but it's not. <laughs> uh, in the yeah. street of Paris, everyone is, pretty scared. Uh, like I told you, I think a lot of people don't have a lot of work to do. Yeah. So they're pretty concerned and they're very par paranoid. Pa pa yes. Paranoid. Para yes. Paranoid. Paranoid. Yes. Paranoid. Yes. Paranoid. They're very paranoid. They're very paranoid. And so it's really hard to just walk on the streets of Paris for now. Everyone got a mask. You don't have your mask. They're saying like, please, your mask, your mask. You're like, oh, sorry, sorry, just a second. We're just really far away. I thought that was going to be okay. I just forgot it for one second. And everybody reminds you that that's a hard time. And we all, but the thing for me is like, we all need to be together in that time. We need to be careful, of course, but we all need to be together. And for now in Paris, I don't think it's that for now. Everyone is pretty on, the, on themselves and I can't blame them. It's normal. It's it's really hard for everyone. And even before the COVID, we had a really hard situation. Uh, everyone's complaining <laughs> in Paris. Well, you're gonna say in France, everyone's complaining. But for now, a lot of people ask for social, they have social needs and they don't have answers. Uh, we, need, we have security needs, they don't have answers. Uh, we got the women who are asking for a lot more and we don't have answers. We got the minorities who are asking for more and we don't have answers. And I think everyone is pretty hungry and even and scary too. And it's pretty dangerous because we just need to be careful and just breathe, I think a little bit, all of us breathe a little bit and just, we are together. That's the main point. We need to be together. And for that, for me, I think just, just speak, t say what you have to say, use your ways. So for me, it's going to be hard. And for everybody else, maybe it's going to be something else. <laughs> yes, yes. And I, I do believe that through the arts, we're seeing all over the world, you know, this huge response to all of the emotions that we are all feeling. Um, whether you create yeah. the art or you are watching someone else's interpretation. Watching. I think that the power of the arts has never been more, more palpable. It's just, it's so yes. important right now for us to have, I think through art, you can express all of the demons, the darkness, the anger, the fear, the, but in a very safe and constructive way. And then you have yes. a conversation. Yes, and exactly. You know, art, we can express things that there are no words for. And yet as humans, we are experiencing them at such a, a heightened 
level. So I'm curious, like in, as you are in the performing arts world, are you seeing creators, I mean, obviously like yourself, um, creating more just really meaningful um, you know, pieces of work, ways of, of expression? Do you think, see, I, I sort of hope there's going to be an explosion of amazing yeah. art, you know, during and after this, this time. Are you, are you seeing that? Are people? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I did not see that just because I saw them before. They're still mm. giving, all the, those artists, all time long, they are just doing art. It's all their lives. Yeah. We are just doing that. We're living for art. But, but with this time, this is the opportunity for other people to see this creativity, this work, ah, to yes. see finally everything that have been created before and during and after, of course. Yes. But I always saw all the people around me, all the artists working their heart, <laughs> heart really mm -hmm. since years and years and just doing everything they have to do just to create something for people. And now maybe because we got the COVID and everyone is in their homes, this is the opportunity to watch more things, to see yes. more things, to, to listen to more things. I think this is the main point. Everyone can now watch, can see, take, just take attention, attention to that. <laughs> yes, yes. I think, I think that is very, very well said. And I think in a strange way, because of technology, um, we are in a unique position where if people could just be open and listen yes. to people in other parts of the world with other points of view who have other life experiences, parenthetically, that's kind of what I'm hoping on this show, you know, to be doing <laughs> is, is, is yes. just a little plug there. Um, but this is exactly the kind of conversation that, that we need to be having and that I think yes. we are primed for that right now because hopefully people are realizing that you just, you can't trust the news, you know, yes. I mean, totally. we, I used to trust the news but now, Me too. you know, I mean, there's just, it's so difficult to know. So what I am personally seeking out is, you know, the human story, individuals who, yes. you know, you don't have an agenda, you're not being paid by some big corporation to say a particular thing. What's it like? You know, what is your life like? What are you seeing? What, what do you think um, is happening? And I think that is part of the solution to yes. just the global level of stress and, you know, misunderstanding and lack yes. of trust and, yes. you know, a pandemic it's mm. a pandemic. It's a it's, pandemic. It's global. We, I, it's global. I so agree with you. We have to work together. Yes. And, and we are all humans. And, yes. and I think the fact that the virus, you know, infects us all, um, it, it, it's in a sad way. It's something that yeah. is uniting us. And of course. I'm hoping that we can unite in our fight against it. Um, Do you see oh, me? Oh, oh, yes. There you, there you are. Okay. <laughs> Um, I heard everything. That that's what I'm hoping. You know, I. Me too. For me, it was kind of the the time to um, accept to just don't know, because everyone got a point of view, and um, and we got a lot of information was coming, and I needed to accept that I don't know, and maybe they don't know too, <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. Yes. I'm gonna find yes. solutions, but if I don't have it. I can shut my mouth a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> but that's fine because I just don't know. And we're just yeah. gonna have to wait and and maybe wait and and be just peaceful a little bit. Just that's yes. all open, like you said. I'm totally right with you. Just be open with people. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be it okay. Is. It is. We, we are going to get through this and we will yes. dance again and sing oh, again yes. and all of those things. And I think, do you think even more than before, because we'll appreciate it more, do you think? Oh, uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. I, I mean, hope, what, but what so I mean I is hope. like, I hope so. I mean, things that I we never, so. like the things we took for granted, yeah. like we could yes. get together and dance together at a party. And it was, I mean, you didn't really have this life. I, I feel like when this is over, you know, we're going to have this. Oh, we're going to have a party. It's going to never end. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
right? <laughs> but once once that calms down, I think we yeah. still, you know, those of us in, you know, this, these generations living through this, I don't think we will ever take those things for granted. For granted. Um, uh, I hope, really, I, I hope, hope, because so I hope so too, um, because we saw that before. This is not the worst thing we had um, in the story of the world. And True. I just hope that people just remember, uh, just remember everything and just never forget, never forget to not taking things like for granted. That's yes. my wish. That's my wish for just after. We just need to remember and never forget. Yes. So maybe tomorrow it's going to be like just huge and we're going to have this party. It's going to end forever. Never is going to end. And we're going to have a drink together. I hope so. Without a mask. Maybe in two years. <laughs> yes. yes. I, I hope so too. I hope so too. <laughs> Go on. It has been so lovely to speak with you. And I hope, I'm quite certain that viewers are just as inspired uh, by you as I am. I think this conversation is the kind of conversation that, you know, we need to be having that, you know, just across the world. And um, your spirit just is, just fills my heart. Oh. So I want to thank you so much for chatting with me today. Um, like I said, uh, if you want to get in touch with Koan and follow her on social media and find out what she's doing, um, it's all going to be down below. And um, Gosh, this this was just this was just amazing. I, I knew it would be lovely to talk with you, but um, this was just I don't know about the rest of the viewers, but I really needed this today. You are just a a, a bright light for for us all. So you are. Thank you. You are. Thank you. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. I really I really needed this because I I need to tell you like two hours before I was getting ready for um, a, a cast a cast for tomorrow, and I just couldn't do it i just i was stuck i was just my mm -hmm. voice didn't want to come out i said i'm never gonna do it <laughs> and oh. i saw you and i was like oh that's fine that's okay oh. you see <laughs> valerie is here that's okay oh. <laughs> you are so you are so your rehearsal is to it uh, is it a, ca a casting is tomorrow is a casting for tomorrow yes okay. i'm not ready at all <laughs> I, I have a feeling that that's not going to matter so much. I think, well, you know what? We're never ready, right? There's always yes. more that you could do. I, you never go out on stage and think, oh, I'm perfectly ready for this. You know, never. there's always, oh, I should have rehearsed more. Oh, I should have been. But yes. you know what? You go out and you do it. And, um, mm -hmm. and all that experience and all of the, you know, the journeys that have, you know, brought you to where you are today, all those things come through. So personally... Um, I wish you luck. This, of course, will be aired. Thank you. Um, people will have to maybe wish in the, anyway, check down <laughs> below and <laughs> get check the link. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting very emotional also. No. But it was really great to uh, have you on today. And I just want to say to all the viewers that uh, thank you so much for joining us. And um, we've got to, of course, keep our suitcases in storage. Uh, but I hope you check back to Lost Suitcases and Bella V <laughs> TV so that uh, you can get your virtual travel experiences on and meet uh, more amazing people across the globe with uh, more inspiring travel and life stories. So thank you all so much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Koan. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>